Hello, this week we have some Shugu, a C clamp, a Nintendo Switch, a really old iPad, a pot of rice, and some tempa. I didn't know how to pronounce that correctly, but I hope I did. Uh, but we're only going to do two of these things this week, and it's going to be this with this. All right, let's make a mess. All right, so I've done some extensive research on how to use this soy product we have. Uh, first, you need a hot pan. Hopefully this is hot. I don't know, nor do I really care. Uh, but when you're cooking our soy product, you got to do it with red peppers. So let's just dump them all in together. Okay, so once we get these things cooked and going, we will move on to our second step. Exciting. Okay, uh, so once your soy product is done cooking, as with your peppers, it should look like this. Next thing you want to do is you want to add some pineapple bits. Just dump them all in. Boop. Pineapple bits are added. You have to use, oh sorry, pineapple tidbits. I'm going to use tidbits. Can't use slices, can't use crush, can't use whole, can't use fresh. It has to be tidbits in order for it to go with our soy product. Now that our pineapple tidbits are good to go, you want to use rice, but you don't want to use fresh rice or just cooked rice. You want to use like day old stuff. So yeah, Let's see if I can just get it to pop out. Boop. There we go. There's the rice we're going to use. Um. Now you kind of just want to beat the rice up in order to get back into the little rice bits. So we'll do that. Ah. Ah. Okay, thanks for watching this video cooking. Uh, this week uh, we made pineapple fried rice. Uh, you can finish it off with these onions I've cut, which happen to be green. And uh, these cashews that I uh, palm struck to crush them because I don't have a mortar and pestle. And I thought, let's beat these cashews up. Yeah. Anyway, catch us next week when we may use uh, shugu that we have here and a C clamp. But we probably won't. Alright. Bye.